A great lovely weekend. Guides sat down in the sitting room, enjoying themselves. Then ran in a gentleman. My good friend and brother, Isaac Obiora. In the presence of Felix Owes and George Enauro, and we ask him, what happened? What is the problem? Why do you look so worried and concerned? And Isaac explained, he said, my wife ran out of the house and each time I need to cook our African dishes, my wife and children will always run out of the house. They complain so much about the smell of my food. We all busted out laughing and we asked him, what type of food were you cooking? And he explained, he said he was cooking panla or otherwise known as Okoroko in Nigeria and the English name for this fish my friend was cooking is called stockfish or cod fish. At the end of the day, we had to go back to his house to help him consume the panla or the Okoroko and we had to lecture the white woman on the benefits and importance of eating okuruku or stockfish that it is good for everybody welcome back once again i want us to talk about panla okuruku its origin its benefits and how it found itself down to nigeria and many other places Manla, that is called stockfish, was imported into Nigeria around 1800 and it came in from a country in Europe here called Norway. Norway's citizens, so far so good, I don't think there are more than 4 million or 5 million people as of today. So the Norwegians produced this type of fish or this species of fish that we are talking about because they have it so much in their own sea over there. Norway produced more cod than it consumed. So this prompts them to dry the remaining for export purposes because they are too many and to surplus so they found a way to make money out of this natural endowment in their own area it's natural and that is exactly what god has given to them so this fish found its way down to nigeria and nigeria wasn't the only place where the the norwegians took their fish to for business they do take their fish down to Britain and several other Caribbean nations. They also exported stockfish all around the world. However, the situation changed dramatically during the civil war in Nigeria. During the civil war, the war called Biafran War, the conflict led to widespread starvation in the eastern part of Nigeria and this resulting into tragic death of millions of people, particularly children suffering from kwashioko, a severe protein deficiency in the aftermath of the war. Various countries began sending aids to the affected region in Nigeria. And the only thing the Norwegian government has to help Nigerian out of the problem they were in was to contribute stockfish. They sent a lot of stockfish down to Nigeria, to the eastern part of Nigeria, which was, you know, 
a natural resources that was so abundant with them. And uh, importantly, stockfish is rich in protein, and this protein, the Norwegian believed, could help them combat kwashioko at the same at 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 that time. This marked the beginning of stockfish popularity in eastern Nigeria, where it quickly became a beloved local delicacy before spreading to other regions of Nigeria. The Benis, Edo's, the Asian, the Yorubas, and all the rest took on stockfish in their own diet. Not only is stockfish packed with protein, but it also imparts a unique aroma to soup. Just a couple of pieces can elevate your dish significantly. During General Babangida's time as Nigerian head of state, a ban was placed on importation of stockfish from Norway to lessen the country's reliance on foreign goods. Alongside restriction on other imports, however, the ban was eventually lifted as Nigeria found ways to smuggle the fish through other countries. In eastern Nigeria, stockfish, known locally as okburoko, has become a traditional item in marriage ceremonies, often included in groom's offering. Today, Due to high demand and foreign exchange issue, the price of stockfish has soared, leading many to purchase it primarily for its aromatic quality rather than for consumption. Now, let's examine nutritional qualities of okoroko. Stockfish has a very high nutritional value with protein making up to 78.5% of its contents, the highest of any food. It is also rich in vitamin D, B12, and iron. If you love to have a change of taste, of an excellent species of fish, that is, if you are not from Norway, Nigeria, or Ghana, I will recommend cod or stockfish for you. And for those who would love to explore traditional ingredient in a new way, stockfish is an excellent choice. Its distinct flavor and firm textures make it a special traditional item that should be included in modern cuisine. Taste this today. You will enjoy it. Happy eating. This is Chucky Table Media bringing to you Okuroko Banla or Stockfish. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like and share. Don't forget to put on your notification button so that you can hear from me the next time. Cheers. Chucky Table Media.